Hey, it's Natasha with Trader Joe's List. I just went to Trader Joe's at lunchtime and there was like no one there and I was like, am I missing something? Um, I did end up spending $116 on 32 items so we're gonna go through this haul i did get some valentine's day things and i have a good idea for valentine's day so make sure you stick through watch this haul make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and let's jump into this two bag i can't even remember how many items 32 item haul Trader Joe's this is always fun this is always fun every Tuesday except today I was very shocked because like I wanted to make a funny um, reel or TikTok about Trader Joe's parking lot so I was like Trader Joe's parking lot is going to be full today and of course it wasn't and then I was like is, there, is it a holiday it's just Tuesday anyway um, I did go to Trader Joe's I spent $115 32 items later um, a lot of stuff I love to buy some new things some sweet things I did get these Belgium chocolate hearts with praline filling um, these are seasonal and they're from Belgium and as it says they're chocolate hearts but they're so cute I ate one in the car and they're hundred percent delicious like shockingly good like they're not too milk chocolatey they've kind of got like a hybrid milk dark chocolate going on but the praline fr flavor is like unbelievable i didn't even like when i think about what a praline tastes like i'm very hot when i think about what a praline tastes like i'm like what is that but then once i bit into that i was like i love 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 the flavor of pralines um so we're just gonna set the coat there because it's a little toasty over here on the west coast um i picked up some flowers these are these are what I call like my low maintenance flowers because um, as you can see there's no leaves on these so you basically just cut the ends at an angle, stick them in water and they're good to go. Um, these are Gerber daisies, low maintenance flowers, I'm feeling a little low maintenance on the flowers today. My lilies are still kind of holding up from last week. I bought two bunches and like one of the bunches is almost dead and the other bunch is like doing well. Um, and then I don't know what these are but they had pink in them and looked fun. This is called Veronica. If you guys have ever seen Veronica, um, basically it looks like the Grinch's finger if it had pink growing off of it, if that makes sense. So anyways, I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna put these all three together, throw them in a vase, call it a day. Um, since we're talking about plants and things, cilantro, that's always good to have on hand for like tacos. Uh, I love this organic baby spinach and spring mix blend. It's great, I use it in salads. I also will just grab a handful and put it on my sandwiches, which I love to do. Oh shoot, I wanted to start that. Yeah, that's what we can do. I need to get to the bottom of this. I picked up the new Malabar style curry sauce. So what I'm gonna do when I get to the bottom of this bag, I have rice. I bought like the low maintenance rice, low maintenance flours, low maintenance rice. I'm gonna pop in the microwave and then we're gonna try this together because I love a good curry and this one sounds good. Malabar style curry sauce. An aromatic tangy sauce with coconut curry leaves, tamarind, typical curries from southern India. I just had an amazing curry the other night out while we were eating and it was phenomenal, so hope it's good. Um, some chives, those are just like regular everyday things I like to get. Um, if you watch my stories from last night on Instagram, I made this ridiculous chicken, like it was like called something chicken. It was out of this cookbook my sister got me, it's called That Sounds So Good. Um, all of the recipes are like, oh, I've only made two things out of it so far, but super easy to make. And I love the, what they did with the, the cherry tomatoes in the pan. So I picked up some more of those. And if you're on Instagram watching and you're wondering what I'm talking about, just when we're done with this, just go look at my story. You'll see. It looks good. Um, these are pink lemons. Pink lemons. I'm always here for a color thing. So we are gonna cut into this pink lemon. See if in fact it is pink. And it does, is it supposed to have a different flavor? Do I need to sample this like an orange? Okay. They, they kind of look like, you know when you put a filter on a lemon? <laughs> like everyone does that weekly, I know. Um, you put a filter on a, a lemon, it just kind of looks like a not as vibrant colored lemon from the outside. And let's see the inside. Um, okay, some would call that not pink. I don't call it pink. Uh, it's definitely like a, it's, I don't know. I don't, maybe these, maybe I have a, a non-pink batch. I'm gonna use a grapefruit spoon. I'm gonna do a little incision here. I mean, that one wasn't very pink. I'm not very impressed, Frida. Not very impressed. 
This is gonna be so sour. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Whatever. Whatever, we're gonna do it. With the grapefruit spoon. Everyone eats lemons like, like this too, right? Like a savage. It's getting in there. Getting the juice everywhere except on the countertop because it can't get on the marble. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try this. Woo! That is still a lemon. Still a lemon. Lemony tart with a hint of berry. Um, that was not as fun as sampling these in the car. <laughs> um, okay, so they taste just like regular lemons. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't see the pink. Maybe these are a non-pink bag, but like the, the bag makes it look like it's gonna be really fun on the inside, and I didn't have that experience, which isn't to say that all bags are created equal, but my bag had just a normal, I mean, it's like lightly an off color from yellow. Um, we're gonna make up for that. I, I don't know, I wanted a pair. I was craving weird things today. I went to Trader Joe's, no list. I mean, this happens often. But sometimes, like, I just, different things stand out to me, and the pears were speaking to me. Also, a lot of fish was speaking to me, which I was like, okay, I'll just go with that. Pears are weird. How do you cut them? Do you cut them, like, hamburger long ways, or do you cut them another way? Okay. Or do I just take a bite? No, I'm going to cut it. I've always liked a good pear. You know, and I didn't clean this off, so hopefully I don't die from this, but um, here it goes. I don't know, pears are just like a less crunchy apple, but they still kind of like made their space in the world. Like apples, everyone knows about apples and pears are just like trying to get by with just being a pear. Mm. Hmm. Something weird happened just now. When I bit into that pear, it tasted like chicken. And it made me wonder if it was because of the knife I'm using right now. I used on the chicken last night, but I cleaned it. Hmm. Okay. Um, there's a lot of weird flavors in my mouth right now. The pear should not taste like chicken, but it has an odd flavor. I'm thinking it's not as ripe as it should be. Um, okay. Moving along. We're just, we're not going to stop. We're just going to look at the, look at the road ahead. Um, raspberries. Let's see if these taste weird too. Mm -mm. Raspberries are still good. Thank goodness. Maybe the, the very sour lemon threw off my palate. Mm. Uh, raspberries are still good. I like the organic ones. It's about that time. Here we go. Wait, it's not that time. It is that time. It's a different time. It's always a time. So I said I, I'm into the fish world right now. So I picked up um, organic cashew milk cream cheese. But this is the, the Miyoko... What flavor is this? This is Fish Free Locks, and I've always wanted to try this one. I really wish they had just this version, um, Miyoko's. I always want to call it Mykonos, um, but that's just because I like Mykonos. <laughs> but this is made in Sonoma. It's a cashew cream cheese Fish Free Lock, so I assume this will go good with the uh, salmon that I bought, which we'll get to. Okay, this has a light pink color that the lemons wish they were that color. So you can see it's got like a light pink color. Um, it does smell, what does that smell? It's like seaweed disc? Hmm. Um, um, mm, not sure about this one. Guys, maybe with the salmon it would be good. Um, I'm regretting I didn't buy the plain one. Fish free locks. Maybe we just go ahead and donate this. I'll try it with the salmon. We're gonna revisit that. Maybe my taste buds are just off today. It's not COVID, I already had COVID. Um, okay, this is raw pistachio nut meat. So I made pine nut butter the other day and it was like phenomenal. And now I'm gonna make pistachio nut butter. And if you have never had pistachio nut butter, it's like a whole new world of deliciousness. I first sampled it at a farmer's market. Someone was selling these little jars for like a ridiculous amount of money. And so this is $5.99. I'm going to toast these on the on like a cast iron, a little bit of salt. Once they get a little toasted, throw them in a blender with some olive oil, some salt. Good to go. We're going to see how yummy that is. But pistachio nut butter, so, 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 so good. So good. 
So good. I would get vanilla ice cream and put the pistachio nut butter in the vanilla ice cream. That was just one way I ate it, but there's so many different ways. Um, the lentils are back. These were gone for a while. These were gone for a while. I wanted them over New Year's to make a dip and I didn't have them, so they're back. But these are good. You can use them in salads. I had a friend that would eat lentils just like as a snack, which sounds weird, but she would put them in a Ziploc bag, walk around, and then like the way you would, I don't know, she'd like squeeze it out of a corner and eat it. I, I judged her, but in like a friendly, fun way, and um, I don't blame her because lentils are packed with protein, they've got fiber, they're overall like a very complete source of food if you're into lentils. Highly recommend those. They, those are delicious. I've been getting those forever. Um, I picked up some chicken bone broth. Uh, this is the kind of thing on the pantry. I like to have it on hand because you can use chicken broth. Like if you're pressure cooking something, you want to use chicken bone broth, or you can use vegetable broth, anything that you choose. But it's just good to have on hand. And then if you get in the soup mood, you're ready to make soup. So I picked up two of these. I do like the refrigerated bone broth as well, but this week I got that one. Um, I did mention I like, I'm on a fish kick right now, so I got some of this tuna and I, while I was shopping so again I had no idea what I was doing today I literally like usually I have like a flow in Trader Joe's up and down the aisles I was all over the place I was backing up I was going down different mm, one of those days one of those days guess I got a lot on my mind um non-dairy oat beverage just need some more of this this is my weekly staple what did we do before oat beverage and this bag is Dunsky so in this bag are my sweet potato chips that I started eating on the way home, which is usually a rule, like I don't usually eat the food from Trader Joe's on the ride home, but I was so hungry. And so maybe if I would've started with a lemon, I wouldn't have been hungry, because those lemons are making my pear taste like chicken. It's a whole new story. But I started eating these, and I just, I just love them. They're just so good. Mmm. Okay. I just just finished off a bag of these yesterday, so I replenished my bag. The jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. I still have a, um, a good bag of the cacio e pepe ones going, so I've got the puffs with the cheddar flavor or the cheese flavor with the pepper kick when I'm in that mood, and then I'm always in a jalapeno seasoned mood, so I, I probably have those most frequently. I got an artichoke. Wasn't, wasn't going into Trader Joe's for an artichoke. And then I was like, what is all over it? Is this like a bad thing? But then I saw the, it's called a frost kissed to delicious. Once cooked, I transform into a perfect green artichoke with an enhanced nutty flavor. So artichokes became frost kissed at temperatures below 32. The outer layer turns brown, flakes and peels much like a sunburn. Yum. Once cooked, the flakes disappear, revealing a delicious green artichoke. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna experiment with this. Um, I think I'm gonna put this in the pressure cooker. I'm curious to see how that cooks. But I love artichokes, and at the very end of it, you just get the artichoke heart, and you can dip it in like a mayonnaise or like what was my, my mom always put it in mayonnaise. But then I know people do like alioli, or you could do like the garlic dip from Trader Joe's, or you could do a little lemon. I mean, choose your adventure. It's all there. Um, picked up some more of these. These are the cheese empanadas with cassava crust. These are really good when you just need something to eat. Um, they are gluten free, and I like to put the bomba sauce on them because they've got like a phenomenal texture. I just, in my opinion, they're lacking that like that heat and that savoriness. So pick those up. They're very, very good. Always good to have on here. Oh, happy Valentine's Day! Gummy X's and O's are back. These are like the Valentine's Day Swedish fish. So we're gonna try them. very delicious. They're like the Swedish fish of Valentine's Day. Um, but they are mm, very good. I could have used these on my bike ride um, about a week ago, so I just want to straighten that one out. Um, I taste like strawberry, cherry, all the different berry flavors. Um, overall, these are very good if you like gummy candies. Um, one of the things we did during our temporary interruption, which if you're on YouTube, you probably didn't notice because we'll edit it out, but 
we went ahead and heated up the curry and we did the rice. So this is what it looks like. And this is the new Malabar style curry sauce. And it is, it's phen phenomenal actually. It's like, wow. Mm. It's, it's not like a sweet curry. It's like oniony, more savory, tangy, definitely taste the tangy. Um, I would add, it says, it says add shrimp, fish, chicken, tofu, or vegetables, add any of those. And this is, I think this is my new favorite curry from Trader Joe's. Nothing special about the bag or the label, but the flavor is where the good stuff is at. Mmm. So good. Next up, we are going to try the wild smoked sockeye salmon. And I have bought that. I'm on a salmon kick, but like I'm weird with salmon because sometimes salmon... I either want it or I don't, and then if I make it at home, it usually gives me stomach ache, which is weird, but if I eat it out, I'm fine. Anyway, so I'm going to revisit this Miyoko's Cashew Milk Cream Cheese Fish Free Lox. I don't know if I'm even going to like this because I wasn't over the moon about the flavor of this lox, but I am going to put it on a Norwegian crisp bread, which I picked up. These are great. Keep them in the fridge. It keeps them from going stale. They're also gluten free. Let's see. Um, okay. A lot of flavors going on right now, so we're gonna try a bite of this. Mmm, okay. Don't eat this cream cheese alone. Eat it with smoked salmon, and everything in the world will be better and aligned. Mmm. Wow, okay, there's a lot going on right now. A lot going on. Um, a lot of flavors, so I just had curry, then smoked salmon. But it's all good because I'm hungry. Um, we've really sampled a lot, despite our technical difficulties. A couple of other items I got. I got some granola bars. These save me some days when I go on bike rides. I just throw them in my pocket, go on a bike ride, and they're fuel. Organic chia bar is probably my favorite. And then the chocolate, um, the Trader Joe's raises the bar. I like the chocolate chip ones. They're very good, and it's like a good dark chocolate chunk. So pick those up. What else do we have in here? Um, turkey bolognese. I just want this to have on hand if I ever need to make like a pasta. When I'm by myself cooking for myself some nights, I'm like not very motivated, but if I have something to cook for, I'm like got the recipe books out, every surface in the kitchen's being used, but when I'm by myself, um, this is where this will come in handy. Because sometimes it's just like, take a break. You don't always have to do it. And then last but not least, Almond Breeze, Unsweetened Almond Breeze. That is the 30 calorie vanilla one. I use that in my Magic Spoon cereal every day. Um, what's gonna happen next, hopefully you guys didn't miss too much, but I will post this haul to um, YouTube tomorrow. It'll have close-ups of all the products, the front, the back, um, and then it'll be posted to IGTV on Sunday. So for those that stood by and watched this lovely Instagram um, chaos that happened. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, and you got to see like a tour of my kitchen, living room situation where I film all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'd say most excited about this curry is phenomenal. If you guys see this, grab like a couple bags. Um, it looks like it's shelf stable too, so it will sit for a while and it is vegan for those that are wondering, it's um, delicious. So that's my favorite item. I will see you guys. Next week actually is going to be different because I will be out of town next week, so um, I'll have someone at my house, but I won't be here, so it'd be weird for them to do the haul if it's not me. Um, so I might be doing like a cooking thing on Saturday or Sunday and then use that in lieu of next week's haul. So let me know if you guys like that idea. Um, if not, I will see you guys the week after next. See ya. Bye.